I don't think we have any other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just that. Oh, we're oh. organised. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First to him. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, nice and Dominic. Good morning to Don. Say hello. hello. Good morning. I think I've only got one. Um, I've just got one video, so I think it's St. Dominic's. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's, having, it's just going to be an exclusive one on one chat with Scott and Ella and St. Dominic's Primary School today. We've got about 20 minutes for our chat. Um, now, we're aware that you've spoken with Scott before um, in Term 3 this year, so Scott's been really busy. Um, traveling around the world, training, competing and preparing to hopefully qualify for the Olympic Games next year. So he thought he might just give you a quick update on what he's been doing over the last couple of months and then we can move to ask some questions. So I'll hand over to Scott, um, have a great chat and I'll jump in if there's any issues or um, I'll jump in back in about 20 minutes time. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. It's great to see you again, and uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for having me and taking the time to have a chat. It's always, I don't know, it's always nice to come and, and speak to you guys and, and sort of explain what I've been up to the last few months. I think we spoke in August, maybe last year. Oh, sorry, early early this year. Um, basically, since then, since then, I went to New Zealand for five weeks, where we had an amazing camp, um, a lot of good training. A lot of time on snow. Um, I have, I got a little bit hurt though. I had a, um, a bad back there for a little while. I compressed one of the one of the discs in my in my lower back, so I wasn't able to ski for a week or two weeks. That was really hard to sort of overcome. And but I sort of kept my head in the game and, and kept plugging away. And um, it's really good now. I've been doing a lot of rehab on that, and and now I'm in, in fighting shape. And then. Um, two weeks ago, I went to, to Europe for two weeks, um, which was really successful. Um, we were there for, we only had seven days on snow, so it's a long way to go for, for only seven days, but we had amazing weather and we were up at the, the Stelvio Glacier in Italy, which is, I think, 3,000 meters above, above sea level. Very, very hard to breathe and, um, yeah, very, very difficult sort of training environment, but we, we had a really good camp and we got to race. Um, we did a couple of like uh, mock race events where we we sort of set it up. So we um, went up there and got to race the uh, the Swedish national team and the French national team and the Finnish national team. So it was a really good opportunity for us to get back into the, the racing environment and um, really put our skills to the test and put all our training over the last six months to the test and sort of see where we were at, um, that's always a, a nerve-wracking experience going to sort of getting to that first event or, 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 or training with fellow competitors just to see where your sort of skills are at. But, um, and I was definitely nervous um, that first event or that first sort of test event. Um, but I qualified first um, on the first day, so that was really quite good. Um, we were competing against guys who... I think out of the top world champs last year, three guys, um, the top three places were, were at our training camp. So um, a lot of a lot of competition. So it was really good to see that I was skiing well, and um, yeah, it was I guess um, yeah, really sort of a bit of relief, and um, yeah, very much a lot of self satisfaction to know that I'm I'm skiing fast and fast, and looking forward to getting amongst it, and. Um, yeah, looking forward to the, the lead up to the game. So I've been home now for two weeks, um, just training in the gym and getting everything ready before I head away next Tuesday. Um, and then I head to, to Canada uh, for two weeks. And then we have our first events on the 6th and 7th of December. So that's always a, a great experience. And I'm really looking forward to getting back there and getting into some racing. So that's pretty much me for the last couple of months and yeah I'm in good shape and looking forward to it so we might um yeah do some questions and I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you can see your face. Okay. okay, here's the first question. Have you ever been injured in your career? Which is what Yes, yeah. I have. Um, yeah, so obviously last, uh, about a month ago or two months ago now, I had a really bad back. I um, One of the discs was bulging um, out of my spine. Um, well, it's not, it's not a disc, it's like a... It's like the disc in between, um, in between the vertebrae and your back, and it's very painful and it's really hard to compete with. Um, but a lot of rehab um, that sort of helped me along the way. But before that, I've um, broken my collarbone, I've broken my thumb, had a couple of um, concussions. But I guess in relative terms, it's not. Yeah, I've been relatively injury free, so it's it's been good. Yeah. What has been the most ex um, exciting places you've ever been to? Exciting places. Um, I had the opportunity to go to Japan a couple of years ago for World Champs, and that was an amazing experience just because it was so different and such a huge culture shock. Um, I love going to Switzerland. <laughs> That's such a beautiful part of the world, and um, yeah, really really beautiful and yeah, love going back there. Um, and then I'm a big fan of Canada just because it's so so similar to Australia and, and a lot of lovely people. So I don't know, I, I get to see some pretty amazing parts of the world so it's it's all good fun. Do you ever have a pre race snack or energy drink? Oh it's yeah, I liked I don't know, it's it's difficult when you're on the road because every every stop you go to, um, you might not be able to get the same foods. But now I take with me like a blender, um, and I always make like a, a a fruit smoothie before I head up. So it's like apples, oranges, carrot, ginger, kale, spinach, like all the good things, just to give me a little extra boost and um, a little extra energy. I'm a big fan of. Um, I make like my own muesli and. I do like I don't know lots of lots of little things just so I have enough enough food and energy for the day. That's a good question. Do you ever miss your family when you go to the Olympics? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I miss home, and I don't know. We live in such an amazing country, so it's it's always nice to come home, and I really enjoy it. But at the end of the day, I'm having a, an unbelievable time when I'm overseas, and yeah, I miss them. But at the same time, it's it's really fun, and I enjoy what I do, and I get to see them occasionally. They'll um, my mum will come to the Olympics this year, uh, but my brother's actually commentating for the Olympics, so he's going to be based in Melbourne, commentating the halfpipe and the slope style. So he'll be yeah, commentating hopefully some of my event as well. I think we may have missed. Hello. Hi, Scott. Sorry, I think they just dropped out. I think they did. I'm sure they'll reconnect in a moment. So yeah, no, not a problem. Might just need to repeat your answer. <laughs> no, it's all good. I can't remember what they are. It's nice to hear you make oh, your own muesli. Put in that. Oh, all sorts of stuff. It's like oats and chia seeds and, and goji berries and, um, yeah, pr protein and all sorts of stuff. You sound like you should be playing cricket for the uh, English cricket team with all their is gourmet that, is food that, requests. Is that, is that what they're all about? <laughs> they're into the quinoa and the uh, chia seeds as well. Oh, it's so good. I just get, oh, I don't know, I enjoy eating well, but it's, it's um, yeah, it makes such a difference when you're trying to trying to compete, especially on the road when you're trying to build your immune system. Yeah. Um, any tips for those listeners out there as to what they can put in their muesli? Um, oh, what do I do? It's probably a bit different. Um, I don't know, just natural stuff. I always put a bunch of fruit. Like, I always have a banana and frozen berries and, um, and then just whatever I can find, really. Obviously, it's different um, in each country, but almonds are always good and um, any sort of nuts and um, oats and I don't know, whatever. Beautiful. All right. Well, look. Let me. Whatever's available, really. 
might just pause. I'll keep the broadcast going and I'll just see if I can give the school a quick call. Yeah, no drums. Excuse me for one moment. I'll just mute myself. Yeah, you're right. All right. Sorry, Scout. It feels, seems as though the school's having internet difficulty, so I'm just going to end the broadcast. Um, so thank no, you. Just, this is about a good chat to a chat. And can, uh, stay online. Can, uh, Don't you go anywhere. Okay. I'll just end the broadcast.